want to boost your immune system with the vegetables you have in your fridge and cook delicious meals stay in this video reduce reuse recycle responsibly get your meals Hi, I'm Ingrid. Due to pollution in big cities and viruses and bacteria all around us, we are exposed to develop illnesses or to get health issues that eventually are going to affect our lifestyle and our pockets. We need to act right now and take preventive measures to avoid to get any contagious virus or bacteria. I'm not a doctor, I'm not a nutritionist, I'm just a mom. I was vegetarian for 15 years, vegan since since January 2020, mom of two vegetarian kids since they were little and I did what a mom does. I just search for the best for my family and to keep them healthy. So it sounds a little too much, but it is not. The only thing we need to do is to keep doing what we were taught to do. Clean your hands before eating and before going to bed. Eat healthy, eat your vegetables. When you grow up and you go to the doctor, your doctor's tell you to do the same thing, exercise regularly, eat healthy, have healthy habits. Regarding your diet, there are some foods that can help you to get a stronger immune system and to get more energy by eating them more often. Before we continue to the recipes, I'm going to leave here some recommendations for you to keep your body strong and in case you get sick so you can overcome this disease faster. In our daily lives, our doctors always recommend, in regular days, exercise frequently, get enough sleep, avoid deep fried meals or bad fats, avoid tobacco and alcohol drinks, eat on time, drink enough water, at least 2 liters, wash your hands before eating, before cooking or before and after going to the restroom. Intake at least 60% of raw food in your diet. Drink 3 Arab infusions a day. Handle stress with a book or listening to music. Now, in epidemic days where you see people getting sick very often with viruses, increase the intake of green vegetables. Drink more water and green juices or smoothies. Drink green tea 3 times a day. Wash your hands every time touching public door handles or railings. Keep distance to talk to people, at least 6 feet approximately. Get enough sleep. Increase mushrooms intake in your diet. Stay in this video, I'm going to show you some combinations for salads and for smoothies that you can create or you can combine with the vegetables you have in your fridge and if you eat them regularly, you're going to boost your energy and your immune system. So let's continue with the recipes, salads and smoothies. What these vegetables have in common besides being green? They are rich in beta carotene that in the body converts into vitamin A and vitamin C. According to FAO, Food and Agriculture Organization of United Nations, vitamin A is essential to keep a strong immune system and maintenance to epithelial cellular integrity and immune function. About vitamin C, FAO says that it has a potent role as an antioxidant and protect cells from free radicals. It also improves the absorption of iron from our diet. What antioxidant means that it inhibits oxidation and counteracts the damage to cells caused by free radicals. And what are free radicals? They are unstable molecules that can damage the cells causing aging or illnesses. I decided to make this video because I'm interested in doing something within my reach to get a stronger immune system. After searching for information from reliable sources such as FAO, I took all the green vegetables from my fridge. With all these on this cutting board, plus one apple and one kiwi, I can make two salads and two smoothies. If you can't imagine drinking the vegetables, you can stick to the salads. For salad number one, add one cup of clean spinach leaves, one cup of broccoli, 
I dip in the broccoli in hot water for 10 seconds and I did the same with the asparagus. Add half green pepper, cut in julienne, half cup of green peas, two tablespoons of pumpkin seeds, and garnish with green onion. For the second salad, start with one cup of washed kale, one cup of asparagus, half cup of sliced celery, half cup of green peas, two tablespoons of sunflower seeds, and also garnish with green onions. You can use the salad dressing you like, but since these salads are packed with green veggies, it is recommended to add some lime or some lemon juice to help with the iron absorption in our body. I also added a legume to the salads, like the green peas, to have some protein and carbs in the meal. You can also complement any of these salads with steamed rice or boiled potatoes. If you don't like too much green vegetables or salads, try these smoothies. For green smoothie number one, you need half cup of fresh spinach, half cup of broccoli, half granny smith apple, one tablespoon of coconut cream or half glass of coconut milk, one tablespoon of chia seeds, the juice of a lime, half glass of water and optional, one tablespoon of maple syrup. Blend everything for 40 seconds or approximately in a minute or until you see it, it looks smooth. To make more of this drink, increase the ingredients times the portions you need. Mmm, yummy! This is a very potent antioxidant and cell restorative. As a suggestion, drink a chamomile infusion 15 minutes after eating a salad or drinking one of these green smoothies. For smoothie number two, you need half cup of fresh kale, half cup of zucchini, two tablespoons of celery, one kiwi, one tablespoon of peanut butter, one tablespoon of crushed flax seeds, the juice of a lime, half glass of water, and one tablespoon of maple syrup. Blend until smooth texture. Check this video in the link below to make three nutritious salads. All right, another capsule of vitamins to get a stronger immune system. If you like this recipe, subscribe and click the bell to receive more ideas about healthy and easy recipes. Enjoy! I'm drinking right now my green smoothie. To be honest, I like to chew my vegetables. I rather have a salad and I rather find huge chunks of vegetables to chew, but this smoothie is awesome. I'm drinking this at room temperature because right now it's a little cold where I'm at, but if you are in a hot weather, I suggest you freeze your salad and have a frozen smoothie. It's awesome. I just use one tablespoon of maple syrup. It is so good, a little sweet. I think it will be perfect just with the apple but it's up to you. Cheers. If you like these ideas about boosting your immune system and my recipes, thumbs up, subscribe, comment, and share.